Hey everyone, this is Stephen Strawn of Cast Iron Cookware, where you can find information to help you better collect, restore, and use cast iron cookware. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use and season cast iron with my new product, the Season and Stick. And I'm going to show you how to do that coming right up. Okay, first of all, I just want to say thank you everyone for the overwhelming support that I have received when it comes to my new product, the Season and Stick. Now the Season and Stick is a blend of grapeseed oil, avocado oil, and beeswax as the medium, all wrapped up in this nice little convenient, easy to use, uh, non-messy Season and Stick. Now we have been experimenting with different kinds of packaging, and if you have received some of our initial uh, seasoning sticks that were sent out, most likely you received it in a, in a little manila bubble wrap envelope with your seasoning stick inside. I have been worried that the edges have been getting mashed a little bit, so I've come up with a new idea, and I'm going to be shipping the rest of my product in a shipping tube. So when you get your product, it'll be in a shipping tube much like this. Now if you order more than one, chances are it's going to be a much larger tube. Now chances are there will be a little bit of tape on the ends just to keep the cap from popping off. And you can remedy that just removing the tape. Just like that. Or you can take a little paring knife or something and, and break the seal. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little lip right here. So when you get ready to open this up, all you got to do is take a spoon, pop it in there, or a screwdriver. But I find that a spoon has a little bit of a leverage point because it's round. You just pop it in there and it comes right out. Now this little tube, you can also use it to store your stick in it when you're not using it. Now your seasoning stick will also be wrapped in some cellophane. So I want to make sure this thing is protected. So here we go again. So now we have our seasoning stick is freed from its packaging. On our first run we did not do this, but I went ahead and added about a half an inch of seasoning past the paper. Now this is enough to get you started. Once you use the stick down to the point where you're at the paper, you can just take and tear it off just like you would a coloring crayon. You just tear off a little bit as you go until you wind up with a nub like this one. <laughs> I've used this one for quite a while. Okay, so let's get started. I have a Birmingham Stove and Range Century Series Square Skillet. This is the piece I'm going to use for the demonstration on using the seasoning stick. So this one here has been cleaned down to bare iron and it's dry, but it's still kind of cool. What we're going to do, we're going to stick this thing in the oven to about 200 to 250 degrees and get it warm so it can receive the seasoning stick. At this point, you're just going to be getting a little bit of a smudge. We want to get it hot enough so it will actually melt the wax and the oils onto the cast iron. And don't forget to use oven mitts because 250 degrees is hot enough to burn. So let's get this heated up and we'll come right back. Okay, we have our piece out of the oven, and it is at about 250 degrees. So let's pull our camera down so we can see what we're doing. Okay, we definitely want to use an oven mitt. Okay, first thing we're going to do, we're going to apply our seasoning oil to our pan. Make sure you use an oven mitt. And we're going to take a shop cloth, or I believe a paper towel will work fine. We want to make sure we have it covered. Now this cloth is infused already somewhat. Now we're going to make sure that we have it covered completely with our wipe on cloth. Now if you're starting with a new cloth, it won't be as infused as this one, but it will eventually get there. So we're going to take our wipe off cloth and we're going to wipe off 
all of the excess that we possibly can. We're going to wipe it like we're trying to wipe it dry. We want it to appear that there's no seasoning left at all. We'll go back in and take a look at her inside. I've said this many times before. Remember the Karate Kid movie, wax on, wax off. One rule of thumb to always remember when it comes to seasoning oils, less is best. If you leave too much on there, you'll wind up with splotchy or spotty seasoning. You want to wipe off as much as you possibly can. And when you get done, it's going to look dry. Now there is still a microscopic layer of seasoning on this pan. And you can't see it, but it's there. And it will season better that way than if you have too much. So at this point, we're going to put this back in the oven. And the rule is usually to put it in the oven face down on your oven rack. That way, if you have any dripping or running, it won't pull up in the bottom of your cast iron. But I can tell you this, if you wiped enough away, like you're supposed to, it doesn't really matter if you have it sitting up, right, or if you have it upside down, because there will not be any dripping. Another note to remember, if you've got too much oil on there, it's going to smoke a lot. The less oil, the less smoke. Now, once you get it heated up to the smoke point, it is definitely going to smoke some. Make sure you have your vent fan on or some kind of exhaust, but it's not going to be too bad providing you wipe it down enough. Less is best. So we're going to put this in the oven at 500 degrees for one hour. And then we're going to let it cool back down to where we can handle it again. And we'll do the process two more times. Okay, we're back after our first round. And this is what we look like. It's got a little bit of a dull look to it. Let's go ahead and pull our camera down so we can see what we're doing. Okay, we're going to go ahead and apply our second coat with our seasoning stick. Take our wax on cloth. Now once you're cloth gets infused like mine is, you're not even going to need to use the stick so much. But this one's pretty good. I am going to hit the, the letters just to make sure they get covered good. See, we got complete coverage inside and out. Now we're going to take our wipe off cloth. Now you can use a paper towel. Just remember to fold it quite a few times or you will burn your fingers. You can also use shop towels like these light blue that you get at Walmart or most of your uh, big box stores. And we want to wipe all of the oil away as we possibly can. Almost like buffing it away. Now we're going to put this back in the oven again at 500 degrees for one hour. And that will complete our second round. Okay, we got our pan out for our second round. It is starting to look a lot more uniform. So it's still warm. So let's pull our camera down and take a look at it. We're about to apply our third coat with our seasoning stick. And now... It looks dry. Starting to get a little bit of shine to it. So we're going to put this in back in the oven for the final round of 500 degrees at one hour. And then we'll let it cool down completely and we'll just take a really good look at it after it's all over. Okay, we've got our pan removed from the oven for the third time after three rounds. And it is nice and black. And what I like to do when I get ready to put my pieces up, I like to go ahead and put another coat on it. That way it'll be ready for use next time I use it. 
So let me pull the camera down and let you see what I'm doing. I'm just going to wipe it on just like normal. I'm going to use my little nub. And our pan's still a little bit warm, but not hot, because we can handle it with our hands. And I'm just going to go ahead and massage in a really thin layer of the seasoning oil. I'm going to do it on the inside and I'm going to do it on the outside. And there we have it. We have a nice little shiny pan and it's ready to use and three rounds of seasoning and you're ready to start cooking in it. And the next time I'm ready to use this piece, it'll be ready. I just want to say thank you if you have purchased one of my seasoned sticks and I hope that you've enjoyed it very much and I love to hear some feedback on how well your product is doing. I'd love to see some pictures as well. Before and after pictures would be great. So thank you so much again for watching Cast Iron Cookwire and I just want to share this with you really quick. In Proverbs chapter 3 verse 6 and always acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. I just want to say share the word and be a blessing.